Hey, this is Ev. I'm here to talk today about this little Kumale Gold Award ukulele. These things were made in Hawaii um, back in the teens and 20s, I believe. So this little this little guy is over 100 years old. Um, it is just so delicate. It weighs about eight pounds, not eight pounds, it weighs eight ounces, and uh, it's like 8.6 ounces, something like that. Just a tiny little thing. And uh, it's very delicate. It's made out of koa wood, which is in the acacia family, and it grows there in Hawaii, which is lucky for them because it is a uh, just one of the finest tone woods. Um, if you don't know much about it, look into those. Martin used it on a lot of their um, guitars and, and still does. They make wonderful ukuleles. Um, the incredible thing is that something so delicate could survive a hundred years. Um, came to me with no case and uh, needed a little bit of repairs. Just had a little uh, back crack back here that needed just some gluing and uh, a little top crack right there that needed a glue and I went ahead and put a cleat on it. And this is uh, just a wonderful sounding little thing. It's, it's neat um, how something can still function after all these years with such little service needed. Um, these have uh, kind of an earlier design. They have like violin pegs with slots um, in them to wind the strings in. And uh, that's a new set of pegs that are fitted there. They hold tune, they tune pretty easy. Not as easy as geared tuners, but um, they're so light and they're wooden and they're resonant. So uh, everything you put on an instrument either vibrates with it and resonates with it or it absorbs the energy. Uh, so that's why those are preferred. You'll see them on, I believe, um, flamenco guitars uh, use them also on the acoustic flamenco guitars. So um, that's it. I'll just do a little show off real quick. And uh, you'd be afraid this thing would blow away if you're in the wind and, and you'd, you'd lose track of it. It's just so tiny and so light. Uh, but I'll give a quick sound sample. So I'm not a ukulele player, but even my friend who's a, a heavy metal guitar player, when I strung it up and played it for him, he said, wow, that thing is loud. But um, they're very, uh, very musical sounding instruments not just a little box of strings so um hope you enjoyed that uh if, if you did hit like and subscribe if you want to see more um if you think it's particularly cool you know things like flamed koa necks um go ahead and uh forward it to a friend who you think might enjoy it thank you again